Did you know that you can run tasks like database migrations from the Nux DevTools? Well, you can, and I'll show you how in this video. On the screen, I've got a little dummy app set up, which is actually the code base for the data fetching course we just released a couple weeks ago at viewschool.io. If you are into Nux and want to master data fetching in this amazing framework, then I definitely suggest you check out that course. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is if I open up the dev tools and then come over to this little tab right here called server tasks, I now have the ability to run one off tasks on my local dev server doing things like migrate my database or seed my database, or really just run any anything I want to on command. What's really nice is I can provide parameters to it, and then just hit play, and then get my result. How does this work? This is super cool. Maybe you haven't seen this option inside of your Nux DevTools. That's because you've got to do a couple things to make it appear. So what have I done to set up this migrate task? Over in my code base in nux.config.ts, I have enabled nitro.experimental.tasks. So this is set to true. Then inside of my server directory, and then a task directory, and then nested in there just for the sake of organization, a DB directory, I've created this migrate.ts file. Now the define task function here comes from Nitro. And you can see all the documentation for this on Nitro's documentation site. It's super easy to set up. What I've written is literally just a copy and paste of their example code from the website. But if you go and join the waitlist for our Faker.js course that's coming out very soon, you'll see how to actually set up this task to do some real world seeding in a database. That's it. I hope you found this tip useful and I'll see you in the next video.